Hey everybody, thanks for being here with me today. I am Pre-Med Mama. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. If you are a regular here, good to have you again. Um, I am a mother and a pre-medical student. My background is in education and healthcare, and I'm studying to become an MD. I am so happy to have your support and also to support you on your journey as you study for the MCAT. If you like what you hear today or what you see today, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and share the videos with your friends and family. All right, we are in the Kaplan Biology Review MCAT book. We're in chapter one and we're in chapter or in section 1-4. In today's lesson, I'm gonna be reading through the section and talking about growth and doing the MCAT concept check 1-4. And specifically, we're looking at growth of prokaryotes and bacteria in particular. All right, growth. As previously discussed, bacteria reproduce via binary fission. This implies that all of the bacteria are exactly the same in a local colony assuming no mutations or genetic recombinations. And no bacteria will be dividing faster than the others. Bacteria can be said to grow in a series of phases. In a new environment, the bacteria first adapt to the new local conditions during what's called the lag phase. That's L-A-G, lag, lag phase. As the bacteria adapt, growth increases, causing an exponential increase in the number of bacteria in the colony during the exponential phase, which can also be called the log phase. So first we have the lag phase when we talk about bacterial colony growth, um, and that's when the bacteria adapt, and then that's followed by the growth phase, which is termed the exponential phase, also called the log phase, L-O-G, log. As the number of bacteria in the colony grow, resources are often reduced. The reduction of resources thus slows reproduction and the stationary phase results. So that's the third phase, the stationary phase. After the bacteria have exceeded the ability of the environment to support the number of bacteria, a death phase occurs as resources in the environment have been depleted. Real world sidebar note in your books. I'm looking at page 24 in the Kaplan Biology MCAT review book. One of the biggest challenges a doctor faces is that of patient compliance with treatment, especially antibiotics. Many patients fail to complete their entire course of prescribed antibiotics, often discontinuing this treatment because they feel better. Unfortunately, this breeds antibiotic resistance by killing off the bacteria that are non-resistant and leaving behind bacteria that are more resistant. These resistant bacteria then reproduce, resulting in recurrence of the infection. Over time, this practice has led to bacteria that are resistant to multiple antibiotics, making common infections more difficult to treat. All right, the book also wants you to understand this bridge, which is found on page 25. The bacterial growth curve is an example of a semi-log plot. The fact that the y-axis is logarithmic means that a straight line, as seen during the exponential growth phase of the bacteria, actually represents an exponential increase in the number of bacteria, not a linear increase. Semi-log and log-log plots will be discussed later in chapter 12 of MCAT Physics and Math Review book by Kaplan. All right, moving into our MCAT concept check 1-4. Question number one says, briefly describe the three mechanisms of bacterial genetic recombination. Number one, transformation. Describe transformation. Transformation is the acquisition of genetic material from the environment that can be integrated into the bacterial genome. Number two, describe conjugation. Conjugation is the transfer of genetic material from one bacterium to another across a conjugation bridge. A plasmid can be transferred from F plus cells to F minus cells, or a portion of the genome can be transferred from an HFR cell to a recipient. 
describe transduction. The process of genetic recombination that's called transduction is the transfer of genetic material from one bacterium to another using a bacteriophage, which is a virus, as the vector. Question number two. What are the four phases of the bacterial growth curve? What are the features of each phase? Answer. Phase one is the lag phase. Bacteria get used to the environment, little growth during this time. It's mostly about adapting. Number two is the exponential phase, also called the log, L-O-G, phase. The feature of this phase is that bacteria use available resources to multiply at an exponential rate. Number three is the stationary phase. The feature of this phase is that bacterial multiplication ceases as resources are used up. Also during this phase, reproduction slows down. And finally, number four in the bacterial growth phases is the death phase. Bacteria die as resources become insufficient to support the colony. And that's all with section 1-4, chapter one of our biology MCAT review book by Kaplan. If you liked this video, please subscribe or leave a comment in the comments section. I wish you all the best on your MCAT journey. I believe in you. Thanks for joining me.